bill coming in the February legislative session that would put penalties for distracted driving on par with those for drunk driving. This bill goes beyond texting and driving. Jennifer Dallin explains what it could mean if it passes. Well, good evening. If you're on your phone just talking on it or fooling around on it, you could be in big trouble under this new bill. Now, we're in Mobile 6 right now. Let's take a look at the road. And we've been watching people. I've only seen a couple people that have been really obvious. In fact, I can see a woman to my right right now texting on her phone because it's kind of dark. But there are a lot of people out there that are doing this right now. They're pretty obvious. And under that new bill, it could be a felony if it passes as is. <laughs> These public service announcements show the dangers of distracted driving. <laughs> it's suspected in many recent crashes on Oregon's highways and roads, including this accident off Highway 26 that the Oregon State Police began investigating in October. And the Oregon Department of Transportation put out this PSA, stating there have been nine tragic accidents in just nine days. While they're still investigating causes, they say more than 90% of the time the driver is at fault. You should have every total silence in the car. No cell phones, and you ought to be totally focused. Those are just a few reasons why Senate President Peter Courtney is waging war on mobile devices, saying a distracted driving crash occurs every two and a half hours, and a person is injured in a driving crash every three. He fills his new bill in part to make texting and driving a felony is a step in the right direction. I'm shooting the moon here. Under his bill, using a mobile device could get you a year in prison and raise the fine from $500 to more than 6000 Multiple violations could get you five years in prison and a $125,000 fine. Someone's texting and driving and they're pulled over, even if they don't get an accident, can they still face the $6,000 fine? Or yeah. Or only if they get an accident? No, no. It's just they get cited. They get cited. It's over. If you get pulled over drinking and driving, you may not have hit anybody, but if you violate, same thing. He says he knows there will be opposition to the bill, but is hoping some portions of it will become law. I'm hoping at least to get a major fine increase because... Now, the bill does not increase fines or penalties for eating or drinking. Say, for instance, your favorite coffee in the car, that would still only be a $500 infraction if you were caught distracted driving for that or even smoking. Those would still be minor offenses. But again, using those mobile devices under this bill could get you in big trouble. Back to you. I think that would mean Oregon would have the toughest distracted driving law in the entire country. Thank you, Jennifer. Well,